Hello and welcome back everybody. We are currently healing our wounds a little bit. We, we did lose our helmet and we did lose our pickaxe. Not this one, which is lucky, but we just lost our normal silk touch diamond pick. So we will need to remake that at some point. I haven't done that off camera. What I did do off camera though, well, I tore down this, I cooked some potatoes because we were running low on a lot of things, but I did this. Let's go and see. So as you can see, there's two pillars here. I installed these myself because I'm a professional and I thought this would make sense at the time. Kind of doesn't really make sense, but it's just a little bit of a, a safer way down without getting absolutely done in. And we get down here and then we come out and we can see that actually in the break, I finished the tunnel. This took so long to do and was so dangerous I think by the time I got here filling in this wall was a real struggle but once this was filled in they had less line of sight for me so I was able to work around it but you can see the real issue here is because none of them are spawning in here anymore they're all spawning out there so it's a little bad but today we're not worrying about that today we're going to go and get our buried treasure so that we can hopefully get a conduit built. So let's go up the other shaft which takes us to here and we snag a boat and we'll go back home and just orient ourselves because I don't like to be near these guys. They freak me out a little bit. So we're going on a buried treasure hunt today. Um, I'm so annoyed still that we took a big L yesterday or well the other day. So if we've learned anything from maps we need to go north east okay Let's work this out. Unable to open. Oh, I don't know what that means. We need to go north east. So this is west. That's north. Okay, so we need to go north east, kind of this direction. And if we head this way, past the temple, we should start getting onto that map. And we're going to go hunt down this treasure so we can build a conduit and we can maybe. I think the conduit allows you to see and swim better? I don't know, but I think we've got everything we need for the conduit. We just need that heart of the ocean. Oh, we might need nautilus shells actually. But sometimes they're in there. Where's our little... Where's our little man? Oh, okay. So we need to go heavily north, realistically. Heavily north. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and... Oh, they're shooting so many things and they're so loud. They've got such a range on that noise. Um, I was a little sad at the end of last episode. I've taken a heavy break in between. I've been a bit busy anyway. Um, but I've taken a heavy break in between. This is the village, by the way. It's so close to us. But there's the village. So we'll steal some guys from there at some point. Um, yeah, we just need to go north a lot right now. Until we get on the map and then find ourselves on here. Um, yeah, so we're going to steal some people from there at some point And bring them across once the temple's a bit safer. I don't really want to start dragging people across without the temple being safe, if that makes sense. Um, let's just... Bam. Right. Across we go. Um, so yeah, so it's been... I think our dots got a bit bigger, actually. Oh, is that us on the map? Yeah, almost, I think. Other side of this. Um, yeah, see, so look, we're on the map now. So actually, it's just over here somewhere. That's just, that's a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Did think this was going to be more of an adventure. Admittedly, we really struggled last time with the mapping. Uh, it's at the end of this peninsula over here. So it's kind of like here-ish. Right? I know a technique to finding the treasure every time. We just need to line ourselves up. Oh. Think here. Should be the treasure. Somewhere like here. Somewhere like here. Really? Somewhere like here. See, we were right on top of it. Oh, look at this. So we've got the heart of the ocean now. Nice. So now we've got the recipe for the conduit and we just need to then 
make the conduit and be good to build, I guess. Uh, we've got to run across the desert again real quick. Because um, I'd like to get home and sleep. I don't want to die again. We've died like four times now, unfortunately. Which is a little sad. Yeah, get out of here. You got shit shot, mate. Shit shot. Bam. And we're off. Look at that. Treasure found. Um, yeah, so... I was a bit sad after last episode. Because I was quite happy with having not died at all this whole time. Like We are at episode 12 now or whatever. This is episode 13, I think, actually, guys. Well done. We've made it to episode 13. That's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I was really hoping that we could maybe stay alive a little longer. But, you know... It is what it is. We made it a fair way um, without dying. I think home's about here. Um, and, I mean, like, I wasn't expecting never to die. I definitely know that death was a, a clear plan of mine <laughs> at some point. That's why I'm not playing a hardcore world. Um, but I thought we'd live a bit longer. Uh, and it's a bit silly how we died uh, doing... Clearing that corridor was a little sad way to die, realistically. Um, but, you know, we move on. We move on. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. These guys, though. Look at them. I've got them all trapped in boats, because I'm hoping that that might help the... Basically, I put a load of boats up there while I was trying to do the building, because I thought that would reduce the amount of them that were below me, so that then I could um, work a bit easier. I think it helps a little bit, but I think they've got such a large... Um, spawn population that it's kind of a bit like mm, there's still too many of them and they do so much damage and they seem to aim for the helmet the entire time which oh well that's not why we lost it but it's definitely one of the reasons so quickly what's that recipe then for conduit what do we need for this yeah nautilus shells we need a load of them and the heart of the sea which we've got um I actually don't know an easy way to get Nautilus shells other than killing drowns over and over again, which is a bit of an annoying way to do it. And they only spawn at night, which we've just skipped through. <laughs> Great. Um, that's thrilling. Okay, so we need a new plan for the day then. Because we've, um, we've done what I thought would have taken a while. Has the other map updated, maybe, to be a different map now? Is that the same as this one? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's the same map. Okay, so, I mean, we can, we can get rid of those. They're not needed anymore. Just because, I mean, there's no point in keeping two... Two maps that are pointless. Um, so what we need to realistically work on... We need better food, if I'm honest. We could really do with um, better food. Which could be maybe... What we should do is we should grab some of those villagers... And bring them across and start trading with them here. So that we can make some good villagers over here. And then bring them down eventually. I don't know. We do have to, at some point, also start working out the size that we want this to be. Uh, that's just really difficult to do because I want to basically clear out a load of water like everyone does. But I have to basically try and build with them all shooting me. A little bit tough. have found that to be difficult. We would be above ground, but still, that's very difficult to do. Um... Just trying to think what might be the best next approach. Um, we could... Hmm. It's tough now. Because there's a couple things we could do. We could we could really do with um, an iron farm. And I guess we've got the stuff to do it. We would just need to bring villagers here. Which is the thing is, I don't want to do that. Because I kind of wanted to do it over there. Like in the water or above, basically. So, kind of want to put that off. We need a better food source. Let's make a board again. I liked our board last time. It did get blown up, but let's make a board. Uh, let's take some of that and some of that. And let's make some signs real quick. Uh, let's get some signs. And let's make a, a quick little board. Right, so what do we need? 
We do need to move villagers at some point, so that is on the board. Let's just do a little 2x2 two two for now. Um, so, of course, move villagers. Move villagers is one. Okay. We need to do that for sure. We then need to make an iron farm. Oh my god. Iron farm. We then need a good source of food. Which we can do with villagers, I guess. Like, this is all villager-centric, realistically. Because we can get golden carrots from villagers. So, it might be that we do this. And we go and capture them in boats. And swim them over here quickly. Um, might not be the worst idea. What else do we need to do? We need food. We need iron. Um, we eventually need to clear that temple, but that's such a long goal that I'm going to put that over here. Temple. Clear temple. It's such a long goal, so I'm just going to put that up there for now. Um, what's something we pressingly need? Probably a tree farm as well. Hmm, yeah, the, the problem is we're running out of space on this little island. It might be that I clear out some of this, and maybe because we don't need this much anymore. We've got tons of nether wart, um, and I maybe repurpose this into a bit more of a, a usable area for maybe just like farming trees for a bit. Yeah, that might not be the worst idea. Let's do tree farm as well. I don't know how to make a... Maybe... Oh, okay, we do tree farm slash then um, we'll make a auto farmer. So basically we'll get rid of all of this and then we'll replace it with those redstone machines where I can just spam bone meal uh, and clicking like bone meal break, bone meal break. So then we can harvest whatever we need. Okay, that's the plan. So step one, oh, do you know what? We need to build a crafting table out here. It's ridiculous going inside every time for it. Step one is villagers though, I think. So let's build one, two, th two, three, four boats, I think would probably be good. Um, and then we'll take this boat over there. So we'll bring back a fair few villagers. Uh, the problem is we're going to have to bring them back. We need to work out the quickest way. And I think it's just this way. If I swim just this way directly, we can go and snag some villagers, swim them into the water, and then swim them all over, basically, is the plan. Um, it's going to take a while, though. So I think what I'll do is I might speed this up and time-lapse this. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to enter a super fast, speedy boat montage now.
Oh my god, okay, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. We've got all of these guys. Uh, we just need to find a place for them now. I'm thinking I might build them a little underground place. Because we've got an easy way to clear out water now. So what I might do is I might make sure that they're all sort of in a, a little, like, 4x4 four four here. One second. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's just make sure we destroy that real quick. Oh no, we're stuck. Oh god, we're gonna drown. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and we're going to just bring them down, I think. Four. That's not right. Damn it. Math. Am I right, guys? Am I right? When you just can't count. God damn it. That feeling when you just can't count. That looks better. Hello? Oh, hello. You have a fishing rod, sir. Do you have a, a shell for me? No. Just death. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that they're all sort of parked in this little area. Um, I think he's probably parked in there. Let me in the boat, though, you idiot. Okay, then he's going to be parked in there. And then... He needs to be over here as well. Lovely. And then this guy as well over here. In this little 4x4. Four four. Uh, and we will just do what I can building wise for now. Just to kind of lock them in there a little bit. There we go. They're kind of locked in there. There's only a couple blocks that we might be able to move him into. There we go. Okay, cool. So they're all there now. And they're going to come down. And I think we'll just build them a little home down here, basically. Underneath everything. Might be quite cool. I could do with a water breathing potion right about now. Did we brew any extras? Because otherwise this is going to take a long time. Uh, it doesn't look positive for it. We probably drank them all. And to get another, I'd need another puffer fish. And that means fishing, so... We're going to leave that for now. We are just going to brute force this a little bit. Um, so... There we go. Let's do that. Okay, let's try and actually just quickly give ourselves some air. This is just a temporary measure. But <laughs> it works. <laughs> Look, we are gaining air bubbles. Okay, we only gain up to four. It doesn't work consistently. I thought that did, if I'm honest. <gasps> oh my god. They've clearly reworked uh, that little little feature. Uh, we want to make sure we're also sleeping through the night, because otherwise these guys are going to get killed for sure. Um, let's just go down. Okay. There we go. 
Oh, that's a bad way to go. We're not drowning to death. We're not doing that today. We need the better helmet, honestly. We need that bloody water breathing helmet 95. Because it's bad trying to do this without water breathing. I gotta keep like popping up. <gasps> we should sleep before the drowns spawn and try and get my boys. We got some beds for them as well. I did some looting at the end of the sort of like villager kidnapping run. This is the second time we've done this. We're gonna leave the I think I wanna kinda leave the home base fairly like stationary as is. I don't really want to mess with it a huge amount. Because it's quite a like a little uh, achievement place in a sense where like we started here, so I kinda wanna leave it as is and just make sure that we um What am I doing? What is this? What is this? We're going to drown a little bit. It's fine. Okay. I actually need to now get in here somehow. Um, okay. A little bit more. There we go. Because I don't know why I did this. But what we're going to do is we're basically going to allow them to come through here. Through like that sort of thing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, it's okay. This is a bit of a task. These guys, look at them, they're so unaware of the world around them and what is being created. There we go. We need to go back up. We got to place like five blocks. If we want to avoid just taking any damage, we've got to be a bit careful with this, but it's kind of getting there. I just want them to have a little gangway over here, for example. Oh, I can't wait to be able to bloody breathe. Okay, it's fine. All of them, so unaware, so blissful. They don't know they're about to be life workers. That's what I'm calling them, life workers. Um, oh god, oh god, that was a lot of air wasted just swapping blocks like that. We should get our sponges ready. They will help us. Uh, dry sponge, there we go. Ow. Lovely. And now we should be able to just sort of do this and then do this and then do this and then do this and sponge. That is air, my friends. We don't have what we need here with us though. Because we need a goddamn we're just going to build it, I don't know, kind of under, I guess, kind of in. I'm not too sure what I'm doing yet. I do know that I need a shovel, though. Oh, we lost the shovel last time, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. Yay. Okay, cool. Because um, we can sort of just go, like, under the island. I know, admittedly, a lot of the island isn't actually island, because I built it. Um, we need to go the other side. But... It's not the worst little uh, little place for our villagers, our villagey boys. Uh, let's just make sure we are trying to avoid flooding at all costs. Oh, and now we need the pick. For fuck's sake, this was dumb. Oh, and there's a hole there, okay. Right. So the flooding comes down here, and then we're going to go in, I think. Yeah, okay. Right, that's fine. Need to go out for a second, get my goddamn pick. Oh, I almost thought that was a way up. That's how you drown, kids. Remember your way back to the surface, always. Um, we need the pick. It's not the pick I want to use, but... It is the pick we'll use, because we've lost our daily driver. God damn it. 
those bastards over there. I think they're so much better than me. They're not better than me. Are they? They're not better than me, are they? No, they are weak, feeble creatures. There we go, see? And now we just basically dig into the land. And this is where our guys will live. Underground a little bit, it's fine. They'll be completely okay with it. I imagine in just a, a few short days, they won't even remember that they came from an island very close by. There we go. See, look, it's already homely. And as long as we sort of dig this away, we're not going to hit a huge amount of water problems. Oh, yeah. No, no, that is a water problem. Yeah, because of the farms. It's fine. We said we'd move the farms anyway, but for now, that is a bit of a water issue. But otherwise, I think we're pretty um, pretty golden just to sort of um, one block up here. I think give them just a bit of headroom. Yeah, look at this. Perfect. It's going to be a little, little rough maybe around the edges to start with, but I reckon it'll, uh, we'll make something out of it. Let's just make sure we don't expose too much. So we can't go anymore that way, basically. But we can go this way. Oh, yeah. That'll be a thing. We need the... Oh, we just need any block, honestly. Just a block that won't move. Um, and then we can just sort of go this way a little bit. Look at this. What a beautiful home for these guys. I doubt they'll even know what... They won't even know the difference. They'll be like, oh, this is fabulous. Let's just bring them down. Come on down, everyone. <laughs> that was funny. Oh no, my my block. Um, I mean, they can't go anywhere, so we can at least free them. Okay, there we go. Did we get the? Yeah, we did. Okay. There we go. Everyone's free. Oh, you roamed all the way over here. I was kind of hoping I could block everyone in a little bit. Do you want to go back with them? You don't, do you? You're an intrepid explorer, and I appreciate your attitude. You are actually in the way. If you could go back. This way. Yep, this way. No, mate. Wrong way. This way. You're going to be a real dick about this, aren't you? This away, this away, I'm gonna box you, oh, you bastard. I'm gonna box you in the corner one second, mate, if you could, if you, if you could just, yeah, that way, that way, that way, come on, in, a little bit more, a little bit more, that'll do, that'll bloody do for now. Okay. But, oh my god, it's too fast. It's too much power for one man to contain. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to work on this... Oh no, I need those blocks for sure. Uh, let's drop the dirt for now. I'm going to work on this off camera. I'm going to build this room up, make it a nice room. And I will see you guys next episode, because I think we've run on now. Um, we've had quite a long episode, especially with that lengthy time lapse of getting these guys here. And what I'll do is, let's just build out at least... Uh, we're going to build a big area underneath here for them. This is probably going to be our entrance, you know. I quite like it as an entrance. Let's just keep them blocked in fully. There we go. Um, I might make something cool out of this. A little drop down just so that we can drop down and basically then like visit them underneath here. But for now, thank you very much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe and tell your friends and family. Bring them all along. Thank you very much and I love you all.